Welcome to Chippy. This is a bullet hell shoot 'em up that focuses primarily on destroying gigantic bosses by chopping all of their limbs off. <laughs> That's supposed to be the main gimmick of this game from what I've heard. A lot of the bosses in this game have gigantic limbs that you're pretty much meant to try and blow off first before you go in for like a direct attack. I'm not really sure if there is a campaign at all in this game. I think this game mostly focuses around killing bosses. It's essentially like a boss rush style game. And I think the primary focus of this game is score attack. You're trying to beat the bosses faster than anyone else. So it's it's also pretty competitive. I think there are online leaderboards in this game. Chippy is not a new game, however. It's been out for a few years now. I think it came out officially in 2019. It does have some pretty good reviews on Steam. I think the user score is like 89 or 90% out of about 800 reviewers. So not one of the more popular shoot 'em ups on Steam, but I am a little bit surprised that this game didn't actually find that much popularity just considering the people who made this game. Chippy was developed primarily by Face Punch Studios, and if you don't know who Face Punch are, they're actually the same people who made Gary's Mod and Rust, two of the most colossal indie games of all time, I would argue. Rust being a cornerstone of indie survival games, and Gary's Mod being pretty much just second to Minecraft in terms of, like, influential indie sandbox games. So it is pretty interesting to me, then, that Face Punch later decided to create a bullet hell shoot 'em up which is vastly different from the other kinds of games that they put out prior to this, and I have known about this game for a while, like, part of the reason why I wanted to play this finally was because I actually wanted to play this a lot sooner, but, you know, me being the silly little boy that I am, the, the inattentive little doofus, as it were, I got distracted by literally everything else, and I just ended up forgetting about it after a while. But I do want to finally check this game out, at least for a little while, and... I, I do want to address the elephant in the room here before I get started with this video because yes, I do realize that I have been absent from YouTube again for a little while, in this case over a month now. And I just want to let you guys know that I am in fact still alive, I am okay. I have just been sort of taking some time for myself in recent times because I have been sort of struggling mentally. <laughs> I feel like I've been in a very weird headspace for the past month now or so. Well, to be fair, it's been more like three or four months. I've also been feeling kind of burnt out as well for that amount of time too, which is also why videos have slowed down significantly in the second half of the year so far. I kind of just feel like a lot of the negative thoughts I've been having recently have really been getting in the way of me being able to do anything productive in the past month or so. And I've talked about this before in older videos, but I do frequently struggle with the fear of failure and not really feeling like I'm putting out my best content like, like ever. Like I honestly never feel like I'm really putting out my best content and whenever I worry too much about that, it causes me to become like mentally stuck I would say if that makes any sense where my mind just kind of enters this tumultuous state where I'm just worrying so much about like the future of the channel or where exactly I would like to take this channel in the future and kind of you know you know kind of worrying about the numbers as I think everyone on YouTube does to some degree but also there have been some things going on in my personal life recently that I, I have been kind of struggling to deal with, and I don't really want to get too deep into that because, you know, it is very personal to me, and I would rather keep most of that information private. I will say that it does involve the hospitalization of one of my family members yet again because it's already happened to them, like, multiple times at this point, but... Uh, I don't want you guys to worry about them either, because they too are okay. But the fact that it's happened so many times in just the past few years alone has really been putting me on edge regardless, even though I know that they're going to be okay. So yeah, I don't want you guys to worry about me or whatever is happening with my family right now. Like, I am okay. I'm in a much better headspace than I was just about a month ago. I really want to try and get back into the swing of things now. I want to try and introduce some brand new videos to the channel. And overall, I just really want to try and get things back up and running, try to get some videos out maybe a bit more consistently now. Because I know that things have been like wildly inconsistent on this channel for like the past four months now, and I do apologize for that. And I mean, it's kind of weird because... 
On the one hand, I don't really like taking extended periods of time away from YouTube because I, I kind of feel like I'm just letting you guys down somehow by doing that. Especially when I just disappear from YouTube very suddenly and I give you guys like no actual indication as to why I left, which is definitely my fault and I really should start doing that more often, I think. Like, whenever I do take an extended break from YouTube, I really should just, like, notify you guys about that ahead of time, that I will be gone for a while, so I will fully admit that it's my fault for not letting you guys know. I really should try and be more open and honest with you guys about that in the future going forward, and I'm going to try my best to. But also, it was one of those things where I really felt like I needed to take some time off and just take some time for myself and focus on, like, other priorities in my life and just, just enjoy my life for a change, because I feel like I haven't really been doing that a lot recently. It's one of those things, again, where I just feel like I've been focusing way too much on the channel and YouTube and, you know, where where exactly I want to take this channel in the future and just worrying about the numbers and that combined with all the other stuff that's been happening in my personal life recently and it was all just, it was just too much for me to handle, so I felt like I had to dip for a little while, but I am back for real and I, I do want to try and get some more videos out. I have a lot of videos planned, there's a lot of games that I actually picked up on Steam recently that I really would like to show off to you guys. More videos are on the way, hopefully. And I am currently formulating a plan to try and get videos out at a much more consistent rate, but I don't really want to go into details about that right now, I kind of just want to play this game finally and just stop freaking monologuing. <laughs> so with that being said, we're gonna play Chippy for a while, I've wanted to check this game out for quite some time and I do kind of feel like it's been a while since I played a shoot 'em up on the channel, but yes, let's go play Chippy finally and go blow some creatures limbs off, which sounds awful but they're evil so it's probably necessary, I don't know. <laughs> also, I am using my PS4 controller to play this, and apparently the game's developers recommend that you use a controller, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, when I booted up the game, it actually dropped me into a tutorial immediately, so we're gonna actually resume the tutorial here and go and fight this dude here. Yes, move with the left analog stick, okay. He's just a big eye, but why does he remind me of Jacksepticeye? He looks- he looks like Jacksepticeye's logo. <laughs> Aim and shoot with the R button. Wait. Wait, please don't shoot me. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> Current power-ups, choose one per pair. Okay, wait, so do we... Oh, okay, that's interesting. So there's no, like, dedicated fire button here. We just rotate the cannon, and the cannon fires automatically. Okay, that's that's very interesting, actually. Um. Okay, these are all the same power-up. Let me just get the shield and get the, the, the damage up. Yeah, damage, I think it's giving me more damage, I'm pretty sure. And another shield. There we go, shield squared. Avoid bullets, okay, we're gonna avoid some bullets here. Can we destroy the bullets? Okay, no, we actually cannot, so we just avoid them. There we go. I think, if I remember correctly, I think normally in this game you do die in one hit. Cause I, I think Chippy is also supposed to be like a fairly difficult game as well due to the fact that you can die in one hit, but it does seem like you have shields in this game, so it seems like there's some way you can... Like, like you can level up the amount of damage that you can take, or you can somehow, like, uh... You, you can give yourself shields to, like, prevent yourself from taking damage. Okay, focus. Oh, lordy. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, my god. Hold, hold up for a minute. There we go. I think I did something right. Collect items and use with right trigger. Okay, let me go and collect this thing. Use with right trigger. Oh, repel those bullets, I see. Was that a one-time use only? Okay, I think it actually is. Okay, repel. Oh no, that's slow-mo. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, it's slow motion. It's it's like bullet time. It's just like bullet time, dude. Oh god, I need to wait for these slow-ass bullets to get out of the way first. Yeah, this boss definitely reminds me of, like, Jacksepticeye for some reason, dude. It's literally, like, the same eye and the same color palette. Okay, we got a freeze. There we go. Put them all in the deep is. Power-ups with a red border are risky. Why are they risky, exactly? Oh, because they try to attack me when I grab them, I see. Okay, damage five. All done. Time for the real deal. Okay, are we... Are we fighting him now? Oh, we actually are. Okay, we're... Well, that, we're not the actual... Not fighting the actual boss. We're fighting a different one. Go easy on me. 
Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. That was my favorite tentacle. <laughs> okay, yeah. Actually, wait, do I still have my shield? I don't even know. Okay, yeah. Well, at least I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that it drops us right into the battle. Brace yourself. Is this actually the first boss of the game? I'm not even sure. So I think the strategy here is to try and break off their tentacles. Because because I have seen some gameplay footage of this game like quite some time ago, and I believe that the optimal strategy you want to go for here is that, yeah, you want to... You want to break off parts of their tentacles, that because that actually causes the remainder of their of their tendrils, or like the, the rest of their tendrils, to also like explode and get chopped off. Indeed. And then you want to aim for their core after that. Yeah, because you don't you don't want to go like directly towards the core, I don't believe. Yeah, I am trying to shoot your core, buddy boy. Like just relax for a minute, okay? Hang on. Yeah, I don't think you want to go for like a direct uh for, for, like, a direct attack. You want to try and get rid of the tentacles first and then go for the core. Here we go. Kind of like this. There we go. That's pretty good. Activate focus mode with left trigger. Yes, I already know that, dude. I'm trying to get him here. This seems simple enough. That stings. Oh, God. 11, 10. Oh, okay. He's firing some, some fast bullets at me now, actually. There we go. Just got to try and avoid that, right? There we go. Yeah, because focus mode allows me to just dodge stuff, right? Okay, well, he's already dead. Jesus. Massive explosion. Okay, we got a cannon. Uh, oh, fine. I'll play rough, too. Oh, okay, wait. He, I think he has a second phase, actually. Oh, that was not it. That was not it. That was not the end of the boss fight. He's got more tentacles this time. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna try and do something big here. Gonna try and do something big. Brace yourself. Ooh, okay. Well, that's easy. That's actually pretty easy to avoid, honestly. There we go. Um, oh, wait, you're telling me to... Shoot something in there? Okay, yeah, uh, okay, this is actually a power-up that I that I have to press right trigger to you is. Or I guess the R2 button, because I'm using a PS4 controller. I'm still protecting the car. Yeah, I already know that, dude. Let me grab this. Oh, that's more cannon bullets, actually. More cannon shots. Oh, oh god, is this not doing anything to him? Oh no, wait, wait, hang on a second. I think there's something. This is like a shield that he has right here. Gotta bring down the shield first, I think. Yeah, damage that first, and then I think we'll be able to attack him after that. Yeah, that also drops uh, an upgrade as well. I'll just get this this shield. There we go, shield max. We're shield maxing now, boys. There we go. It does seem like my cannon shots ignore the other bullets, which is good at least. It's hard, but I can do this. And we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay, that, that red one was cruising right towards me. Oh no, these ones actually speed up over time. Oh god, okay. Here we go. We're at maximum shield. Actually, we... okay, never mind. I was gonna say he had a big opening on his other side as well, but it doesn't matter because he's already done for. Oh god, he has a third phase. Okay, never mind. He's not done for yet. He ain't done for yet. Hold on, I gotta try and, uh, ooh, destroy that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What is this thing? Oh, damage up. Okay, is this, uh, wait, what is double? Oh, okay, there we go, we got double shots right here, very nice, get some more damage in there, get some more damage. That doesn't last for very long, though. Okay, so how do I get rid of this shield right here? I don't trust that bullet that's coming towards me. Why is it following me? I don't trust that at all. Let me go over this way. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out, I gotta figure out how to... Because cause it seems like his shield is being guarded by shields. So how do I break that down exactly? I don't, I don't really know. That's what I gotta try and figure out right now. Here, break, break that tentacle off at the very least. Very nice. Oh yeah, th these things are also are also like like uh, shooting bullets at me as well. They're like turrets, basically. I think that's what they actually are. They're literally turrets. So I gotta try and destroy that. That way he he stops firing bullets at me. That would be good. That seems like a very good strategy. Yes. 500 IQ strategy, right? Totally, totally something that no one else has thought of before. I'm very intelligent. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, hang on a second. The screen is getting a little bit busy right now. Oh, not down there. Or not up there, rather. Not up there. Okay, it's telling me to, to fire at this tentacle. Okay, wait, well, actually, wait a second. I can also fire at this thing right here. Like... Okay, wait, are there, are there more bullets coming at me from the side? I think so. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, because I, I got rid of his, uh... Oh, okay, he's giving me a lot of damage ups now, actually. 
There we go. Damage up by 10. Very nice. Kind of just handing those to me. I mean, I guess because he is meant to be the first boss, he's probably the easiest one out of them all. Jesus, I have so many, like... You go away. There we go. I have so many, like, freaking uh, different power-ups now, actually. Oh, I can swap in between them. Okay, sweep? What is sweep? Oop. I don't know what that did. I probably was supposed to use that on the actual bullets. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. Let me go... Ooh, let me go this way. And just squeeze in between there. Squeeze in between that. Sweep again. Yeah, I don't know what that's actually doing. Maybe I'm supposed to use that on the bullets themselves. Okay, I should probably try and go maybe a little bit faster. Because I, I do feel like I'm, I'm going, like, super damn slow right now. I do know what I need to attack. It's it's this thing right here. Hang on. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it is moving the, the, the things away. Did I pick up the freeze? Okay, I was hoping I did. I wasn't sure if I accidentally picked up the other thing. There we go. I think I still have full shields. Oh wait, his thing- his- his core is exposed now. His core is exposed. Okay, so move that away. Move, move the other bullets away. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Now he has like a- okay, that's an- he's putting up more damage ups. There we go, just letting me have this then. Just let me have this. Are you done? Yes! Stage complete Neophyte. Nine minutes and nine seconds. 13,915. Yeah, that's what I- that's what I thought. Top 14,000, baby. Let's freaking go. That is exactly where I would love to be right about now. Active items are diamond-shaped, and I could not actually read that in the slightest. Okay, so that actually was the first- that actually was the first boss. This creature is looking to a fair fight, or looking forward to a fair fight. Alright, this is ready to unlock. The Kraken! This undersea giant is just minding its business. Somebody destroyed this dude in a minute and 20 seconds? I don't know about that, man, but... Yeah, let's go pay the Kraken a visit then. Let's go see what he's all about. Let's go see what he's all about. Hold B to quickly reset the stage, which I'm guessing is probably the circle button. Uh, like on the PS4 controller. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing, bruh? What you doing, broski? Oh my god, okay, he's already going wild with the turrets right here. Oh, his turrets are already exposed. Okay, so I'm guessing that all of these bosses probably have, like, three phases. And then they, they die after the third phase? That's what I'm guessing. Here we go. Uh, I don't know what the thing with the five is. Oh, it's just, it's the slow-mo. It's the slow-mo. Okay, I think I need to be careful, because I don't think I have a shield right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, I need to have some spatial awareness here. Hang on. Spatial awareness is key, especially in these kinds of games. There we go. Ten. Ten. Th that's a lot of tens. Come on, just break it. Firing a lot of bubbles at me. Okay, I do have the cannon. Let me skip to the cannon. Switch to the cannon. I mean, his... He, his core is basically exposed. Like, I have a good, uh... Like, I have a good shot on his core right here. Like, look at this. Uh, two more? Okay, uh, two more what? What are you talking about exactly? I think I need to actually destroy the other turrets here. Doesn't seem like he's actually taking damage. Okay, so get this. Touch bubble. And what is what is gonna happen? Wait, I have a turret of my own now. Okay, he's hiding... He's locking a shield behind whatever that diamond is right over there. So let me try and break this. You did. There we go. Break that open. Very nice. Okay, what is this thing that he just, that he just, like, that he just spawned in front of him? What's that little, little orange thing that's kind of flashing? Oh, it doesn't matter because his core is exposed, so let me just go and do that. Oh, that thing blows up after a while. Oh, and then the bullets just drop down straight. Like, they drop straight down. Okay. I see. Well, that still seems fairly easy to dodge regardless. I think this is gonna be it for the first phase, hopefully. Uh, that seems a little peculiar. Let me go around like that. There we go. Because I don't think I have... Okay, that's the end of the first phase, but I don't think I... I don't think I have a shield. So I should probably go... Get this. There we go. Shield, shield squared. I kill you. Okay, the Kraken's getting very angry at me now, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be careful here. What if I just move, move around and shoot, and maybe not really pay attention to what, to what the hell is going on, whatsoever? Here, like, like, how about I just focus on, on like one thing at a time here, one thing at a time. I, could, I might want to get Mr. Freeze. There we go. Thank you very much. So I'm guessing that because I have two, I, I have a shield now, I can probably take up the two hits at least. Okay, I already know what that thing's gonna do. Let me just go and get the turret. There we go. Uh, I don't think I need another freeze. I'll get another turret of my Owen. Actually, I should just use this. 
Okay, so, ooh, what is this? Oh, what is that? Oh, Lord, I almost got hit by that. Okay, there we go. You wave by. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 wait. Something's pushing me back. What is this? There's like a gust of wind all of a sudden. Okay, I place down turrets on my own and they fire automatically. Okay, you go take care of maybe that other turret of his own over there. You go take care of that for me, please. <laughs> maybe just go to the right side for now. I don't know how long these turrets are going to stay here for. I'm gonna- I'm gonna break that open in the meantime. What is this? Slice? Don't know what the slice does, but we can try it. I mean, it slices into his tentacle. I don't know what else I was expecting, honestly. Oh, he's bringing up bubbles from the bottom of the screen. Oh, that's- that's kinda dirty. That's a bit of a dirty play right there. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna go up this way. I'm gonna go up this way in the meantime. Uh, what else should I get? I should get a cannon. There we go. To, to do a little bit more damage. Do a little bit more damage to that, that turret at the very least. There we go. Don't know if I necessarily wanted more slow-mos, but might be fine for now. Yeah, it's blowing a lot of bubbles at me. I think I need to get rid of these, these, these turrets first, and then I think I'll be able to take out his, uh, his core. Let me just go for this. There we go. You dead? I wouldn't speak too soon, buddy boy. Give me the slice. I'm gonna go through here. There we go. Still fairly easy to avoid some of these bullets. Okay, I, I might have spoken a bit too soon. There we go. Go out to the to the right side over here. I'm pretty sure I have at least one more shield. So let me get rid of that. Very nice. I don't know if I need more slow-mo. Well, I might need the slow-mos right here. How about I go up this way and plop a turret down like right here? I don't know what this green thing on his on his head is, but I want to maybe destroy that. Because that does not seem particularly, uh, you know, helpful that it's there. <laughs> I'm mad. I bet you are, buddy. But oh, he actually is. Oh, he he looks very angry, actually. He's angry. Hang on. I'm gonna freeze this. There we go. Just just move on through there. Move on through there. Okay, at least the, 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 the turret is, like, doing a little bit of stuff to him. Just do a little bit of stuff. That's all you need. Just just a little bit of stuff. All you need to succeed, you just need to cause a little bit of, of things to happen. I could be using much better vocabulary right now, but I'm deliberately choosing not to because it's my video and I can do whatever the hell I want. Shut up. Okay, whatever, his core is exposed. I think I think the second phase is basically over as long as I avoid these damn bubbles. Oh, the bubbles are going up. They're going up. There we go. It looks like they're affected by physics so somehow. Kind of affected by physics. Okay, can I get through here without wasting the Freeze? There we go. Don't waste the freeze just yet. Waste it on something that is actually might be useful. Might be a bit more useful. Oh my lord, man. He's firing so many of those now. Okay, I'm I'm fine. At least I don't believe that there's a time limit in any of these levels. So I think I can just take as much time as I want to destroy this dude. I think he's almost dead anyway, so... Or, or at least the, he, the second phase of him is almost done, I think. I have like a clear shot at him. There we go, finally, good lord. All right, phase two. Yes. Oh my lord! Don't don't spawn over the, the 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 shield, please. Don't spawn over the over the power. Oh no! Why do you have copies of yourself? Why do you have copies of yourself? Let me get this slice. I, well, actually, I just realized I thought that was a sweep for some reason. My brain registered that as a sweep, even though that was very clearly a slice. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay, it's it's showing exclamation marks somewhere. Hi, I see you there as well. Oh, boy. Oh, the, bu the bubble. Oh, Lord, the bubbles. Okay, wait. I might need a... I don't know what the blink is, but let me just get some slow-mo first so I can try and avoid this a little better. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, I'm gonna hope that he can't spawn more of these in. So, try my best to, to destroy at least one of the- I almost got hit by that. Um, that's a risky- that's a risky upgrade right there. It did warn me about that previously. Oh, not- not back there. Not back over that way. There's a lot of exclamation points. Why are there exclamation marks everywhere? There's a lot of punctuation occurring in this boss fight, guys, and I don't know how to feel about it. Ooh, wow, okay. I better use some of these slow-mos, because I have 13 of them, dude. I need to put these to good use, like, immediately. Hang on. Could I- could I- could I actually get rid of this turret in the meantime? Hopefully. Oh, god. Okay, this is not bad. This is not bad right now. It's not bad. It's not bad. Anyone who claims that this is- that this is bad, 
are, are lying to themselves and also to you. We don't appreciate liars in this household. Okay. I don't know how I avoided any of that at all. God, just get rid of this turret, please. Thank you very much. I need the other shield. Oh, okay, shield max. We're shield maxing now, boys. I almost got hit by that, but it's okay. It's okay. We we escaped. We narrowly avoided uh we narrowly avoided uh consequences right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Smash ya. Smash you. There we go. Very nice. Okay. I can't get the other shield. I'll get... Okay, ma I didn't even get any damage upgrades yet. I didn't even realize that. What the hell is this blink thing? Oh, this allows me to teleport. Okay. The blink allows me to teleport. That might come in handy eventually. Um, no. Let me just go and do that <laughs> for a moment. There we go. Very nice. Um, I only have slow-mos and blinks now. I hope this guy cannot, like repair the other dudes. Oh no, he actually can. That's what that that's what that red laser is. That means he's repairing them. Oh, I need to kill these guys like quickly. Okay, go. You, we need it. We need it. Guys, you need to go. I'm sorry, but you need to leave. You need to leave immediately. You can't be here. Ooh. Did, oh, 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 oh. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Thread the needle. Thread the freaking needle. That's what you got to do in these kinds of shoot 'em ups, guys. Okay? Thread the goddamn needle. <laughs> As best as you possibly can, at least. Um, oh, okay. Well, at least I didn't have to waste anything there because I'm too skilled. Too skilled for you all. Here, I'll, I'll try and do some damage to this guy if I can. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. He's flashing a lot. There. Okay, first one's down. First one is down. There, I need some, I need some cannon shots. I need some cannon shots right about now. What is, wait, there's a crosshair over here. Oh, was he, was he trying to target me directly? That might have... Oh, is, are they trying to target me directly? Give me the cannon. God damn it. There we go. Okay, yeah. Why is there a crosshair following me? Get this cannon. There we go. Do some damage to the turret. Please and thank you. I can't just, like, like stay out here for too long, but it's okay. At least I haven't gotten damaged yet. I should not, like, say that, like, because I'm gonna get my ass handed to me if I do. That's usually what ends up happening all the time. Okay, more cannon shots. That's what I need. I don't need more slow-mos, I don't think. I already have way too many of those. Okay, so two of these guys are are out at least. This is the, the only other guy. The blue? Why are there blue? Why are there blue? Oh! I'm glad I got out of that. Actually glad that I got out of that, dude. What in the world? That would have trapped me in there, I think. It might have? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta try and start making some big moves here, because this is actually... I'm actually, like, wasting time at this point. Oh, lord. Give me this. There we go. What are the hell are those bubbles doing over there, dude? Jesus, they're, st they're still getting bigger. Okay, this guy... This guy needs to go, like, right now. Please. Thank you! Oh! No! Ooh. Ah! That's just one. Well, I mean, that is just one, though. That is I when did I get nine cannon shots? Wait a second. Okay, that was just one hit though. That was only one hit that I got. So I mean I I I think I was at max shield though, so I I think I still have at least two more hits before I die, right? I think. Oh god, what is he doing? What the hell is this? Okay, I might need to slow-mo. I might need to slow-mo. Ooh, no, I'm not I'm not taking a chance with that. Not taking a chance with that. There we go. Get rid of this other turret, please. The damn bubbles, dude. How did you beat this in a minute and 20 seconds, dude? Like, how in the world? How does that even work? Repels might need these as well, actually. I need to get some cannon shots on this turret right here. There we go. Oh, oh no, the, 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 tur the turret's already gone. Oh, the bubbles are- Oh! Get, get, wait a second, why are the bubbles falling so fast? Oh, wow, okay. Okay, I think I know what that crosshair is, actually. He's trying to target me so that he can, like, surround me with bubbles and drown me. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to drown me, dude. What the hell is going on right now? Oh, lord. Am I going to need to destroy this thing up here to try and get him to, like, go the hell away? Might have to, and I mean, I do have a turret, so... You go take care of that. Ooh. It's not gonna help that I'm on the outside of that. It's actually not going to help. Okay, let me let me let me see here. Still have nine sl slow-mos left though at the very least, so I can still keep doing some damage over here. Like what if I Ooh, oh, yeah, he's he's like he's unleashing some kind of current right now. 
That's that's what's like propelling me over over to the other side of the arena. There we go. Getting some parts of his of his uh, of his limbs getting torn off right here. Very nice. Oh my god, dude. 14 minutes already. I I'm sorry, guys. Like I know that this is probably this boss fight's probably not as difficult as I'm making it out to be, but like. My god, dude. Oh, why is that going so fast now? Give me the cannon shots. There we go. Give, give me this. Do, do, do. There we go. I need to do some damage. Some demerge. Some demerge. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well, that piece, like, flew off at, at the very least. Okay, there we go. Here. Wait, I got more cannon shots. Give me, give me. Give me, please. It's only one additional cannon shot. Whatever. What is it gonna matter? Is it gonna matter? Probably not. Here, I, I'm probably gonna need to get rid of these as well. Okay, 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 okay. When the exclamation marks appear, that means I need to get the hell out. I can use some slow-mos. That might be fine. Uh, did, did, oh no, he's using the current. Why is he using the current? Okay, that, that bubble was on a mission. And thankfully it failed. Because its mission was to try and obliterate me. Which it almost ended up doing. Oh goodness. Okay, go back up here. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Break, break the turret. Break the turret. Nice. Give me the cannon. Okay, just two more and I think we'll be able to... We'll be able to actually do some real damage to him. Here we go. The friggin' current, dude. What is, what is this current that he's putting up here? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. There we go. One more. Did I, did I actually get a, another cannon shot? Yeah, I did. Okay, let me just go and do that then in that case. And just go use it on that. Yeah, I don't care about your silly red bullets, but I do care about th these these little ones that you're throwing right here. Uh, okay, hang on. Do 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 do. Okay, th <laughs> that okay that wasn't so bad. That actually went a lot better than I expected it to. Okay, okay, okay. You must be close to dying anyway. You have to be, man, because you have no cannons of your own. All you can do is just is just use the same friggin' attacks over and over. Yeah, okay, hang on. I'm actually doing damage to his core. Boom! There we go. God, I wish I had some damage upgrades right right about now though. I guess maybe if I if I start doing more damage to him, then it's probably gonna cause him to go crazy with his attacks. I don't really know, but I have a good sh I have a good shot at him now. Oh, okay, I think he's dead. Yep. Stage complete. Okay. Jesus, pop no bubbles. Complete Kraken without popping a single bubble and complete the Kraken stage. Okay, why did I... So, wait. Could I have actually popped those bubbles? Was I able to do that somehow with, like, my bullets? I actually didn't know that. Okay, well, I mean, I still got an achievement regardless. 9,719. Oh my god, man. Okay, well, that was... That was, uh, rather difficult. Wait, why is it saying 2540? Oh no, is that the, like, the total amount of time that I've taken so far in the campaign? Okay, yeah, it's my times combined. Jesus, man. Okay. Well, god, how do you do this in a minute and 20 seconds, man? I don't even know, but... I can, I mean, it seems like I can go and view people's replays, so I can go and see the minute and 20 second replay for Kraken. Maybe later. What is this? The Guardian? The mech is guarding something, but you're only interested in destroying it. 53 sec- what is- okay, wait. Oh, there's also Invasion? And there's also Crusade. Die 10 more times, defeat Neophyte, defeat Kraken- wait, I already defeated all of these, didn't I? Oh, and there's also Easy Mode Invasion as well. Oh my god, Nightmare Difficulty, Crusade, and Invasion? And bonus levels. Earn four more gold medals. Oh wait, there's also medals that you can that you can get as well. Okay, wait. Did I not get any medals at all because of the the amount of time I took? Okay, well we don't really care about that, do we? Let's try let's try battling the guardian. Who who is the guardian? He looks like a giant mech. He looks like Hal 9000. You will not survive. Or I guess you will not survive. Yeah, because he's supposed to be a robot, right? Okay, well, well, we'll we'll try and see what this dude is all about. I don't even know how. It, oh my god, wait! How am I actually supposed to damage this guy? This little metal part right here, you can actually damage. Okay, well then, damage it. There we go. Damage sustained. Oh, oh, oh god, the laser! Why are you going up next to the bullet? There we go. At least I got the shield. Oh my lord, determining optimal attack. Okay, is this actually the last? the last boss that I try to battle here. Wait, does he have bubbles as well? 
kind of. They kind of look like, like bubbles. Sort of. Oh, lord. Okay. Oh, they're, they're going, like, real slow, dude. They're, like, they're, like, crawling around. Why are the bubbles crawling? That's very, that's very odd. That's very odd behavior. Yes, I already see... I, I know about focus mode already, dude. You don't need to keep reminding me about that, please. Please and thank you. Okay, give me some actual damage ups this time, because I feel like I'm really gonna need those. There we go. Damage up four. Damage up five. That might just have to do for now. Well, actually, wait, he's dropping more of them. Damage up six. Can I grab the other one before it disappears? There we go, damage seven. Okay, now let's actually try and... I don't know what that shockwave is, but let me let me actually try and, and make progress for a change and maybe make it... Maybe let me do it a little faster this time. I can also destroy the shield in the meantime as well, which I guess I have to do. There we go, I'm shield maxing again. Yeah, this might be the last boss that I actually try to beat in this video, because I feel like I've already been playing this for a while. Mostly because I wasted so much time <laughs> trying to defeat the Kraken, but that's okay. That is fine for now, alright? There's something that's flashing on top of his head, and I, I don't know if that's like a weak spot of some sort. Yeah, it does seem like my bullets do just fly through his Owen, so... Let me try and actually focus a little bit harder on you know, destroying this dude here. Yeah, I guess focus mode allows me to actually, like, focus my bullets a little bit, a little bit better, right? That's what that means. Damage 10. I, I don't know if this damage has, like, a, has, like, a, like, a hard limit to it. I have no idea. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna, I need to do this without slow-mos. Okay, not too bad. Okay, which other part of your body do I need to attack now? I'm guessing this thing on your, on your head. Right? That- I just ran directly into that. That was completely my fault. Oh, lord. Okay, give me the shield back. There, I'm shield maxing again. Nice. Okay, I'm just- I'm just gonna leave that for a moment. I'm trying to figure out what the optimal strategy is right now, because I don't- I don't honestly know at all. Let's go through here. I'm gonna try to get back up to his head, if I possibly can. Just, just, there we go, cruise right through that, cruise on through it. Let me just use that. Okay, it seems like the cannon barely even did anything. Okay, I really don't know what, what else I'm supposed to destroy on him in order to, in order to get to his, uh, to his core. Do I need, like, a special weapon of some sort, or is there, is there something that I'm missing here? Is there something that I'm just missing altogether? I don't know, but the screen is getting, like, very messy right now. I can- I can tell you that much. Oh, actually, wait, I didn't notice that other, like, little- little metallic part of his arm right here. This is- No? This is no. I'm gonna go for this instead. There we go. Okay, that- that part actually came off completely. Nice. Okay. Very cool. The other part- Oh, oh, wait, actually- is his- is his core exposed? Oh, it ba it basically is. Okay, hang on. Critical hardware under attack. You bet your sweet ass your critical hardware is under attack. Oh, the laser. The laser. It's okay. We're fine. There we go. Thread- thread the needle again. Calculating angle of attack. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to give you time to do that. Okay, never mind. You had time to do that. Wait. There we go. Deciding next behavior complete. Your next behavior is to explode into a million pieces. Give me this. Ooh, dashes. Oh, okay, you're you're a big boy now. Okay, I may actually need. To, okay, what the hell do we do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. There we go. Very nice. So does dashing is probably another way that I can like avoid. I can avoid attacks probably like dodge attacks maybe. Okay, let's see here. That's that's the second phase at the very least. Let me get that little piece of him off of there to begin with, to start out. For starters, I don't know if I have a direct No, I don't have a direct line of sight for that for that that other turret right there. However, this little piece that I could possibly break off, if he doesn't like fire rings at me constantly, hang on. You can also try to just focus on one thing at a time. That can also work too. Wait, he's giving me another damage up, actually. Oh, he's he's launching V's at me. He's launching letters at me now. Bullets in the shape of letters. Not very appreciative of that at all, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, I don't know what he... Oh god, what is he doing now? Just another ring. Okay, hang on. There's something... There's like a big metal... Oh, he's launching pentagons at me. He's launching all kinds of shapes at me, dude. What in the world? Okay, he's launching squares. Okay, he's launching these other like tiny bullets at me too. Okay, I'm guessing that the metallic parts right here I gotta I gotta destroy, right? Oh god, these speed up. Here, 
break this part off. Nice. And break this off, too. Cool. Cool. Okay, go around that other way. Um, break. Not. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just... I'll frick off and die, then, in that case. I'll just frick off for now. I'll go somewhere else. He really does not want me messing with that other, with that other, like, turret over there specifically. Oh my lord. All the damn rings, dude. Okay, this little arm I think I could pro- Ooh! I could probably break if, if I can do it quickly enough. Hopefully. No. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh no! Oh, how did I even avoid that? I have no clue. I will pro- I will likely never know how I avoided that. <laughs> okay, break this off. There we go. Okay, I'm getting to, like, his weaker parts, at least. His weak points are starting to become a lot more noticeable. And I'm able to, to, to get to them a lot, a lot more. Let me just get more damage. Oh yeah, he's, he's launching big orange balls at me. Big orange balls all over my face. Oh, and big orange rods in my face, too. God, I just love having balls and rods all over my body. That is my ultimate fantasy, dude. Okay, hang on. We gotta break this open, hopefully. Wow, that blew off like a big piece of him. Holy crap. I was actually not expecting that to happen. Okay, okay, what are you spawning in now, dude? Oh my... L okay, 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 okay. Hang on a sec. You think you're so cool... You get to spawn more turrets with- with their own little shields? No, we're not- we're not doing this. We ain't doing this right now. Well, actually, wait, what is this thing? Okay, he's- Is that powering something up on him? I have no idea. That might actually be repairing him. All I know is that it's doing zero damage, so... Let's not freak with that for now and let's go try to avoid this guy. Can you move your shield? There we go. Very nice. I see that he's dead. I do in fact see it. Oh my god, I am not gonna be able to get to that in time. Well, okay, then just, just let that opportunity go to waste. Fine, whatever. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Let me just get rid of this in the meantime. I'm gonna figure out a way to get rid of that shield. Why is that a- there a, a countdown on that? Ooh. Um, oh, that's why there was a countdown on that, because it's more lasers. It's like, it, it almost looks like a giant disco ball that's firing lasers there. Okay, that none of that hit me, though. That literally did not hit me. Okay, cool. I gotta, I gotta try and blow that to smithereens as well. Come on, break this open. There we go. Okay, there are, like, bigger chunks of him that are starting to fall off now, at least. I'm gonna get some sweeps. I still don't remember what the sweeps do. <laughs> Here we go, let's try this. Oh right, it pushes them back. It push it just pushes uh the the bullets back. Kinda like what the repels do, but just in a slightly different way. Slightly different in, in slightly cooler way. Very nice. Zero tolerance, you say. I have zero tolerance for your petty little ass right now. I can at least say that. No tolerance for your unadulterated pettiness right now. Holy frick, man. Oh god. It's getting a little bit better to, to, to deal with him now, though, just because I'm starting to break off, like, more parts of him. Like that? I need those slow-mos. <laughs> I definitely need those damn slow-mos now, dude. Like, it's going slow right now, but it's actually, like, going somewhere, and I think that's the most important part. The fact that it, 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 we are at least making progress. The fact that we're making progress is, like, the most important part. There we go. Can't help but feel like he's starting to attack a lot slower now as well. Because of the fact that there's so many parts of him that are just like flying off now. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. This is the second phase of this fight, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is this is phase two. I gotta try. Okay, that actually just broke off already. I maybe don't need more slow-mos. Can I try the double? Oh okay, <laughs> fairy. I really need to stop grunting like I'm trying to take a massive dump whenever I get like super stressed out. That's just odd. Okay, double. Maybe it would not have been a good idea to use it there, but let me let me let me try dashing over this one. Oh god, wait. I, am I seeing the other thing going that that's about to explode the the big laser disco ball? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, there. That's finally gone. Jesus. Need the Oh, no 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 no. Give me give me There we go. I was trying to avoid touching the Pentagon. The Pentagons are evil. Shapes are evil. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, it's not that bad. That looks kind of cool. That's not cool. Don't do that, please. You're being very uncool right now. Okay, I need to get out of here. <laughs> oh wait, this is actually taking damage? Okay, go- I'm just gonna riddle him with cannon bullets. Riddle him. Riddle him like the Riddler. There we go. 
Critical system hard- Oh no, that was actually another, like, shield of it. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, that's what I do. That's what I do, and that's what I is. Uh, oh, oh, wait, I didn't- Okay, I'm not paying attention anymore. Hang on a second. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to leave. Can I just leave and go around the side for a minute? It's probably what we should do. Go around the side. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, because there's another- there's another little turret that he spawned that's like- that's like launching stuff at me. Ow. Okay, down to only one shield again. Is he dead? Oh wait, no, that was the entire stage actually. Oh, he- he only had two phases. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, fair enough. Fair enough, dude. Okay, I was getting very worried there because I just lost all of my attentiveness at the end there. I just went like full ADHD at that point, but we're good. We're actually good. Okay, cool. I guess that guy only had like, uh, like two... Just two phases. Okay, not bad. Still didn't get a medal because I'm doing horribly, but I mean... <laughs> hey, I mean, I still haven't died yet. And I, I'm pretty sure this game is supposed to be fairly hard as well, so I mean, that's good. For someone who's literally never played the game before, I guess my familiarity with shoot-em-ups actually kind of... Kind of plays into my favor this time around. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Okay, well, out of curiosity, what what is Execution? He's also just like a giant eyeball. Yeah, you can hijack replays for practice. Actually, wait. Hijack replays? Wait, what does that mean? You have a dark aura. I'm new here. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 like the new intern, are you? How do you just How do you avoid such an easy power-up? How do you how do you do that, man? How do, how do you even do that? That's like, that's like an incredible skill that only I possess. Missing some of the easiest power-ups to grab in the entire universe. What the hell is this, dude? For the leader, for our leader? Okay, so there's some guy who's making repairs to this dude over here. Oh, you, yes, you. You, right, th th I'm gonna grab this. Convert. What does that mean? Convert. Uh... I- what is that spiral? I don't- I don't agree with the spiral. I don't agree with it. I don't know what it means. I don't agree with any sorts of spiral shapes right here. Um, yeah, let's not- let's not do that. Let me get the shield. Here we go. Shield. I'm not- not shield maxing yet, but like, I swore an oath. Oh god, is it the red guys that are launching the spirals? I didn't want to grab the spiral though, because I was pretty- I'm pretty sure that's like an actual bullet that can potentially kill me. So that's why I didn't want to do that. Okay, yeah, it clearly is. Um, I don't think that's what I wanted to be firing at, but let me just place something down here as well. Wait, that's- that's doing damage to his shield, actually. Okay, wait. What kind of damage is that doing, though? I don't like the spirals. Go away. Yeah, the spirals are targeting me directly, it seems. Oh my lord. Wait, this is doing something. It's- it's changing color, but I don't know if that me- if that's a good thing that it changes color. But it looks like we're doing damage. We're doing damage to him. Is this one of those things where I just need to survive for as long as possible? While trying to, like, shoot at this stupid thing right here? Well, uh, there we go. Shield maxing. I'm gonna grab the convert. Yeah. Am I just converting people to my own side? Is that what that means? I can convert the enemies into allies? I don't actually know what that's doing. Probably because I'm not using it correctly. I don't know. I wouldn't know for sure. Okay, that bullet... That bullet really wants me. That bullet is orbiting me. That bullet is an orbiter. <laughs> so little faith. Oh. Oh, that does actually confuse me. God dang it. <laughs> See, I knew that was a bad thing. I knew that was a baddie that I needed to avoid. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. I don't think that's doing damage right now. Hang on a second. What, a, what am I supposed to be attacking right now? I have no idea. Something's exploding on his sides as well. I also don't know what that indicates. I don't know if you guys respawn. Well, I don't know. If you guys don't respawn, then I can probably just kill you, like, outright. Okay, I'm not paying attention anymore. Hang on a second. Shield max. Shield max, please. Give me the... Sh there we go, thank you. Shield X2. Oh, he broke out of his... Sh oh my lord, there's so many particles flying everywhere. Wait, he, he's he's starting to break out. He's starting to break out of his uh his his prison, as it were. Oh, why are they all angry at me? Okay, I need to go. I need to go. Ooh, no 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 no. Don't focus on me. Ow! I said don't focus on me. Rejoice! 
Rejoice for what? Rejoice the fact that I'm about to get my ass blown off. Okay, hold on. I don't think I'm gonna try and beat this stage anyway, guys. I just wanna see if- I just wanted to see what this actual stage is. I literally don't know what is happening. I don't know what I should be attacking. I'm guessing these guys, but... My god, it's- it's- it's taking a little while. Um... Okay, this is a predicament that I'm gonna get out of. I'm not gonna get out of it. I'm not going to get out of it. There we go. No, well, I mean, not without taking damage, at least. Oh god, I don't want to touch the spinnies. The spinnies make me dizzy, and they make me want to puke and die. How in the name of Christ did I even avoid any of that? Okay. You are not special. Oh lord. Give me the shield. Thank you. Oh, give me the other shield. There, shield maxing again. Nice. Let's go. There we have it. That dude is dead. That dude is dead. Bumper. What is this? I don't know what the bumper is. You're gonna get bumped around. Do a little bit of bumping and grinding, just like they do in NASCAR. Oh, he has a big laser beam, too. That's great. You guys just love your laser beams, do you? All these all these science fiction characters love their giant-ass laser beams. Oh, he's tr telling people to kill me. Oh, he's actually instructing them to kill me, like, outright. Um... Oh, my lord! Jesus, dude. Okay, we've got so many close calls here. I'm guessing I, I have to, like, kill his his little, like, minions right here, his little henchmen, right? And then, after that, will I finally be able to attack him directly? I have no idea. I'm trying my best here, dude. I'm trying my best here. Get, get him out of the picture at the very least. God, I am trying so hard. They're putting up so many shields. They're, they're so resistant, dude. They're resilient. Uh, mmm. That's a lot of spirals that time. Good lord. Okay. Don't like the the very slow moving orange bullets that are pulsing and throbbing, and I that's not a thing that I particularly like to see bullets doing. But okay, double. Wait, I didn't mean to put down a, another bumper. Oh Lord, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do, fellow kids? Um, it seems like there's a bit of friendly fire going on though, because it seems like the enemy bullets are actually interacting with the other with, with the other enemies here. I don't know. Can you, can you, like, trick the enemies into damaging each other? Is that a thing in this game? Is enemy infighting a thing? I didn't want to pick up the slow-mos, but... Whatever, that's what we're stuck with now. Uh-oh. They're gonna kill me! Never mind, the stage is already done, apparently. <laughs> okay, wait, so what, what was I even... So I beat the stage, I know that, but... What was I actually doing, though? Was I just trying to survive for as long as possible, or...? Uh, I have no idea how I beat that stage, cause I, I, I don't know, maybe, was I supposed to, like, destroy that shield in front of him? Like, the, like, the, the prison that he was trapped inside, was I actually supposed to destroy that? Cause it was letting me do damage to it, I saw the damage numbers going crazy, so it wasn't being protected by anything, clearly, but... What? I, I don't actually know how I killed him. Huh, that's really strange. I don't know, whatever I was doing, it must have been doing damage to him. I don't know, maybe destroying that that little chamber that he was that he was locked inside. I guess if you destroy the chamber, it also kills him instantly. I don't really know. That was a that was a weird level, dude. That was kind of a confusing level. I actually don't know how I beat that. Expanding mass is an experiment gone wrong. Overgrowth? Can we just quickly see what overgrowth is? We are one. Oh, oh no, you're- the, the eyeballs right there- oh no, you have multiple eyeballs. What do you have multiple balls of the eye variety? I don't like that. That's kind of- that's- that's kind of- that, that's- that's very disconcerting. Oh, okay. Well, I start off by being an absolute, uh, dinkledork. And I go and do that to myself. Okay, just stay away from the fire snake. Just, just stay away from it. Just stay away from it. I thought I didn't have another shield with me. Um. Okay. Well, that's what I get for trying to, to trying to cheese that. That's what I get for being way too damn cocky, dude. Oh lordy. Okay, that actually stopped the other bullet somehow. Oh yeah, here. Oh, I can pop that. And it, it just throws out more bullets, okay. Oh yeah, it's like an, like an overgrowth, so it's, he has like a bunch of viands, I see. He's got a bunch of viands. You know, I could have moved out of the way of that, but I decided to just take it like a man, because I'm th that's what real gamers do. 
Yeah, that's- I don't think that's actually what real gamers do. <laughs> I just got my- my singular eye gouged out by a giant fire snake. I'm pretty sure that's not what a true gamer would actually do. I think a true gamer would try to like, I don't know, uh, steer clear of that. You know, maybe try to move around that, try to- try to get to safety. Try to- try to come at it from a different angle. But no, I decided to just look it right in the face and say, just take me. Just take me right now. I mean, to be honest, guys, I think I am pretty much done playing this game anyway, so I, uh, I got to 4.8% apparently. Um, oh wait, no, that was- that was circle button. Prevent death one time. Okay, that's my shield. No, I want to go back to the main menu because I do think I am actually done. I just wanted to see what that specific boss was all about. It seems like a big boy with, uh, a big boy with big vines and a lot of eyeballs. He's pretty weird, and I, I I don't know how I feel about him. He's kind of he's kind of scary. <laughs> he truly is one with nature. Wait, <laughs> wait, this person's username right above me, bussin' on God for real, no cap. <laughs> uh, Steam usernames are actually a blessing, dude. We are so blessed to live in in a world where we have custom usernames on Steam. They truly are a blessing. Oh my lord, man. I love that so much. Okay. Anyway, I, I really do think I am done for now. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. We're not gonna- we're not gonna exit the game. We're, we're not exiting the game. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, I said I wanted to go watch the replay for, um, for- okay, these are all my replays. I want to go see the replay for, uh, beating- I was gonna say beating the Kraken at, at a minute and 22. How do you beat the Guardian in 53 seconds? Hang on a- hold on a moment. Hold on a minute. Please tell me I can scroll a lot faster than that. Okay, I can't actually go any further. Um, hang on. Yeah, it seems like there's, uh, workshop support for this game as well, so I'm guessing that you can create mods for this game too, and maybe add, like, your own- maybe add your own bosses into the game? I'm not entirely sure, but... I don't really feel like messing around with that. I want to see, uh, oh, there's actually a boss that's called Medusa. Okay, that's not, that's not, this is not Medusa? Okay, I guess not. Actually, wait, I can already unlock Medusa right here. This monster does not deserve to exist. Okay, wait, we can already go to Medusa. A minute and 22? Let me just, okay, I'm not gonna play this specific boss. I want to see what the replay on this is. A minute and 22? What is, like, the, the, the lowest gold medal time for this? It seems like all of these people got gold medals. Is the gold medal, like, five minutes? Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, this is the lowest gold medal time right here. 417? Okay, how did you beat this boss in a minute and 22 seconds? I want to see. Lend, lend me your knowledge. Lend me your wisdom. I can apparently hijack this replay as well. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing I can actually, like, take control of Chippy somehow. Uh, oh, okay, you're just going directly into his face and losing your shield. Uh... What in the world? Okay, wait a second. That seems... Oh, he has a giant, like, fire claw as well. Give up hope! Actually, wait, you're not supposed to stare directly into its eye because it's Medusa. She'll turn you to stone, bud. You can't do that. Look away. Look away from its eye. <laughs> you're pissing me off. Well, I would imagine your, your, your arms are like exploding into fireworks, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, wait a second. Wow, this is kind of insane. This almost looks like a tool-assisted speedrun, though. That's kind of the thing. It genuinely looks like a tool-assisted speedrun, and I don't know if it is, I'm not saying that it is, but like... Oh my god, this boss is actually crazy, dude. This boss design, though. Oh yeah, he has like two pupils now, or I guess she. Medusa's- Medusa is supposed to be female, right? She's like a female monster from myth mythology. I don't remember what mythology she's from, actually. Is it like... Roman mythology? I don't remember. I, I, either way, there's a lot of particle explosions occurring. There's a lot of items being dropped as well. But I do believe they're dead. So, sayonara. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you guys. That honestly looks a lot more like a tool-assisted speedrun than anything else. And, I don't, again, I don't know if it is. Okay, replay recorded on September 1st, 2022, so that's not actually that old of a replay, surprisingly. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. I mean, they probably still managed to do that legitimately somehow, but that just feels like... Uh, I don't know. 
There's something about that that just feels kind of sketchy. Something about this replay that just feels a little sketchy and a little off to me. But it is still interesting to see, like, you know, how theoretically fast you could beat these bosses. So, I mean, if there are people who do make, like, legitimate tasses of Chippy, I would actually love to see them. I would like to see, like, how theoretically fast... How, how fast, theoretically, you could, like, take down these bosses. Yeah, I mean, that's still some pretty neat stuff overall, I would say. So, don't know if it was done legitimately. I'm, I'm almost never sure with some of these replays, but... Regardless, though, guys, I do think I am going to leave the video here. Oh, I also like, uh, the artwork in the background showing, like, Chippy just kind of, like, floating in the air. I like how the background is, like, slightly animated. That's a nice touch. Okay. But in all seriousness, though, guys, I am going to leave the video here because I am not interested in playing this game anymore. At least for now. I've seen everything that I've wanted to see, so yeah, Chippy is basically like a, like a boss rush type bullet hell shoot -em up where you're just trying to defeat a bunch of bosses and you're trying to defeat them as quickly as possible. Once you defeat a single boss, you can just immediately move on to the next boss, I guess. It doesn't seem like there's any other unlocking requirements for the bosses. It seems like there are multiple campaigns as well, because you do have, uh, uh what, what were they called again? Yeah, Crusade, Invasion, Easy Crusade and Easy Invasion, Nightmare Crusade and Nightmare Invasion, and then I guess you also have bonus levels as well. Well, I guess you just have two main campaigns with three different difficulties, and then you have some bonus levels. Okay, defeat Guardian without losing a shield, earn four more gold medals, complete any co-op stage, defeat Phobia or defeat Zolgon. Zolgon, that's an interesting name. Oh, he also moves, uh, Chippy also moves up and down whenever you're going through these menus as well, like in the, in the background here. Yeah, look where he is now. He's higher up. He's higher up in the background. Yeah, so it seems like this game has a lot of replayability, though. You can go back to previous stages and try to beat your best time, so it does seem like a very competitive sort of bullet hell shoot -em up I guess there's no other purpose to the game beyond that, though. It seems like it is primarily a time attack game in that regard. It doesn't seem like you earn points for you know, defeating bosses as quickly as possible. You're just trying to get the best time, and you go up into leaderboards that way. So yeah, very competitive shoot -em up here. Did I refer to this game as a score attack game at the beginning of the video? Well, I'm completely wrong about that, because there doesn't seem to be a point system in this game, actually, so it's more of a time attack game. Yeah, like a time attack, boss rush, bullet hell, shoot -em up which is an interesting, uh, interesting blend of concepts there. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. I'm not normally a huge fan of boss rush type games, you know, the kinds of games where you're basically just defeating a bunch of bosses in a row, and that's kind of like the whole point of the game. I know that there are other kinds of games like that out there, and there actually is another type of game like that that I've also been meaning to play on the channel for a while, and I actually might at some point. Not gonna mention what it is just yet, but I think some people... Some people who follow the indie gaming space fairly closely might have heard of it before, and it also comes from a publisher that you might have heard of before too, especially if you watch my videos. <laughs> but this is still pretty great though, got a nice assortment of upgrades that you can also use to push bullets back and do more damage to the boss themselves. I do think it's kind of interesting how you can aim your cannon wherever you want, and wh when you're moving your cannon around with the right analog stick, it also fires automatically when you do that, which I guess makes it a lot easier to actually do damage to enemies, that way you don't have to, you don't have to hold like a button down constantly and like strain your fingers that way. I actually do sort of prefer that more. I do like how the cannon fires automatically whenever you're rotating it. It, it. it relieves a lot of stress off my fingers. The art style is pretty simple, admittedly, but it does convey as much information as it needs to to the player. It doesn't really need to be overly realistic. I can still very much tell, like, what's going on. <laughs> and I do kind of like how the art style almost appears to be like a combination of pixel art and flat shapes. I guess it does sort of look like an old-school Flash game to some degree, but, like, in a good way. And I'm still very surprised that this game was developed by Face Punch of all studios. Like, the same people who brought us Rust and Gary's mod, they decided to just make a shoot 'em up like a bullet hell shoot 'em up one day. A genre that they are absolutely not known for whatsoever, 
But, I mean, it's still pretty damn good, I would say. Like, for a studio that has literally never made a shoot-em-up before, at least I don't think they ever had. Yeah, for a genre that they tried working in for the first time ever, it, it, it was a pretty good effort, I would say. It's pretty damn good. So, shout out to Gary Newman and the rest of the team at Face Punch for taking yet another creative risk and coming out with another absolutely solid product as a result. It is kind of disappointing that this game didn't receive anywhere near as much attention as Face Punch's previous outings, but then again, this is a pretty niche genre that they're working in this time. Okay, Bullet Hell shoot 'em ups are not exactly like a mainstream video game genre, and when I say mainstream, I mean, like, there's not, uh, there, there's not that many big studios that are still developing these kinds of games in modern times. I feel like a lot of these kinds of games have mostly been relegated to the indie gaming scene at this point, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's also led to a lot of, like, super creative shoot-em-ups coming out of the indie gaming space as well, and I think Chippy is a perfect example of that, actually. Yeah, so just chop, chop the limbs off of all of the bosses here and try to get to their cores and and just, like, absolutely obliterate them. Shoot them right in their silly little eyes and watch the fireworks unfold. Yeah, it's a pretty good game overall, and I don't really have anything more to say about it. So, if you guys want to go and purchase Chippy, the link is in the description. This game costs about $15 on Steam. I don't know if this was ever ported to other platforms. I don't think it was. I think the only place you can get this on is PC. It might be available on other storefronts as well, but I didn't check that before recording this. I'll go and check now to see if it's available on, like, GOG or the Epic Game Store. And if it is, I'll provide those links in the description too. Because I always want you guys to have as many options as possible. I don't want to just, you know, keep linking to Steam games all the time just because it's the one that I use the most, okay? I try not to introduce my personal biases into, uh into the descriptions of my videos, I guess. I don't know, I just want people to have as many options as possible when it comes to, like, purchasing their games. So, that's, that's, that's why I tend to do that. I don't really need to do that, but I do it anyway because I do it for you guys. I think having more choices is absolutely necessary, you know? It's, it's good to have competition. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. There'll be some links in the description if you want to go buy the game. I'm done for now. Thanks as always for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later.